What's up peeps? Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I've just started up, but I just thought I will bring you lot into my kitchen and show you guys what I'm doing. So today, I am going to attempt to make boss up shots for the first time. So for those of you who don't know what boss up shot is, um, Trini call it parata. So it's basically a roti without any peas. So I've not made it before, so this is my first time that your girl Spice <laughs> is gonna make this tea. So I'm following a recipe from this Trini um, lady. She gave me a recipe. So it's four cups of flour. Um, then I've got two teaspoons of sugar. I've got two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I've got three tablespoons of butter. This is unsalted butter, by the way. And I've got three tablespoons of ghee. So a contai recipe, you can use ghee, you can use lard, or they call it Crisco. Um, yeah, so I'm using ghee. I've also got some oil, which I'm gonna put to the flour after I've kneaded it and everything. I've also to cook on my tower. Obviously, I've got a lovely big tower because I make roti, right? And her recipe um, is with milk. And she says it gives you a really soft, silky roti so I'm gonna try it so I've got one cup milk and one cup water that's 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 her recipe so um, don't shoot me <laughs> I can imagine all the Trini saying what kind of thing but I don't, I'm following the recipe as I said it's the first time I'm making boss up shots so I'm trying I'm gonna try I always like to try new things so this is it right here and I've also got some flour here to um, dust my roti and stuff like that so first things first I've washed my hands already as you know spice infusions were all about the hygiene and everything like that and I don't believe in gloves in needing flour and stuff you got to get in there you got to feel it I mean if you want to wear gloves that's up to you so we are going to add our baking powder we're going to add our sugar okay and this is lukewarm so it's not hot and it's not cold it's lukewarm and i've used whole milk i haven't used semi skin i mean you can use whatever milk of your choice i believe but i've used whole milk and um as i said one cup whole milk one cup water so i'm not going to just pour it all i'm going to add a little little so this is how i do with my hand movements so lukewarm and i can i squeeze the flour together like that So we just want that to come together, add a bit more, okay, so as I said guys, this is my first time making bustle shots, so I hope it comes out alright, don't laugh at me, <laughs> just to try a thing in it, <laughs> so you've got to try a thing. So to go with this, I did some curry chicken. I made curry chicken, and in my curry chicken, I put some um, chana. Some people would just know it as chickpeas, and some potato, but we will show you that later. See, it's coming together. I hope her recipe don't shame me enough because why? <laughs> when I like this shame. <laughs> so I'm squeezing that together. Trying to form that together. Needing a flower. Everybody's got their own techniques of kneading. But I'm gonna rest that to the side and I've got some dry flour there. I'm 
sorry guys if you hear any noise in the background it's my extractor fan in the kitchen it's on trying to get this nice and soft so it will be sticky but that's all in getting your hands dirty clean in the bowl Guess I was a bit, her recipe was a bit generous, but I guess because you want that roti to be nice and soft and silky, you know, you just want it to pull and just mm. so that's what we're trying to achieve. I'm trying to see if I can if my roti can come out nice and well, not my roti because I can make roti, which I will show you another time. But this is wash up shots. So I'm going to add a bit of dry flour so that it can come together. And I just want to kind of, what she says in her recipe is like some people, which I actually find true, some people like knead, knead with their hand like that they do that and knead and fold but I notice when you knead and fold it makes the roti really tight and the, well not the roti sorry the flour it becomes really tight and I actually actually believe that because there was a time when I was making roti and the rope the dough was so soft and then I started to knead and knead and knead but the flour it was like the dough came to it was tight and I was like oh why is, my, why is my dough so tight? So she reckons, she says to just grab and squeeze. Grab and squeeze. Like that. Grab and squeeze and turn. Grab and squeeze and turn. And that's what she says. So that's what I'm going to try and do. said we want that gluten to form that gluten in the flour so you leave it to rest as you can see guys I'm wearing my spice infusion apron you know we got to represent okay so back to the flour and if you can see it's forming grab squeeze turn And if you can see all the road all the flour my bowl is clean and I guess her method works you know, grab. right so um, we're just gonna do that because we want we don't want rough edges we want it to be nice and smooth so we're gonna do this for about five minutes a few moments later right so now that our flour has come together in its form another thing that she recommends is to put drizzle a little bit of oil on it okay and i'm gonna make sure that gets on both sides and then what i'm gonna do with my hands is i'm gonna kind of clumpy team <laughs> So I'm gonna just do that. And that's to massage the oil in and it makes it really soft. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat this. So it's gonna make it really soft. So we're just using our hand to work it in. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna 
fold that in it's got the oil in it so we're not gonna so we're just gonna leave it like that now and we're gonna leave it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so what I'm going to do is cover it with a damp paper towel and a tea towel on top okay so we're going to put the damp paper towel over it and a tea towel to cover that and we're going to let that rest for about 10 to 15 minutes okay in the meantime while that's resting we're going to mix our butter and our ghee together okay so we're going to mix that with a spatula maybe i should have got a bigger bowl we're going to mix them together just move this out the way so we're going to mix that together and this is what we put together because when we roll out the dough i think it makes about five to six loyals loys how do you say it loys like anyway balls yeah <laughs> um loys or something like that but and then we're going to use this to paste on the inside which you will see so we're going to put mix this together it may look horrible but i i trust me it's going to make that roti so soft yeah it's going to oops we're not going to waste none of it that's our ghee and the butter mixed together so the next step after our um, flour has rested is for us to roll it out and make our loys see you in a bit now, so 10 minutes has passed what i wanted to say was i got my headscarf on yeah so don't watch my headscarf because when you're cooking in the kitchen it is important that you cover your hair whether it be with a net a scarf or something it's just general hygiene so don't watch my headscarf and don't think oh she's filming a big youtube video with her headscarf yes and tomorrow if you see me on youtube and i'm cooking again yes headscarf again yes because it's hygiene right okay that's how people's hair does fall in the food when they're not covered take note right so it's removing the paper towel and and the uh, tea towel right and we're going to make our dough balls so this should make about six dough balls so I'm going to squeeze pull and release so I'm going to pull pull and tuck okay that's how we make our dough balls okay I think that one might be a bit big but let's see how we go should make this recipe should make about six so we're gonna top and my hand is kind of heavy guys but the people in here they don't mind because they like they like food you see their mouth they like to chop chop so they don't mind when my hand is heavy because they ain't complaining but they should complain because I don't know how to do light things see look I think I did one too small I think I did this one a bit too small guys so I'm gonna put it back and make that into a half like that the dough is so soft guys oh my gosh so we got six doughs here let me just do this one again why does sorry guys but this one looks like 
so I'll put that one in there this looks like it wasn't a bit it wasn't even right so we just do this one again and just nip and tuck him and tuck him in like so so we've got six six doubles and we're going to cover it back with the damp paper towel and the tea towel and let that rest for five minutes all right so now that we set this let's remove that put that to one side so we're going to fold out our loins loins balls whatever put some dry flour and we're gonna separate it like that Now I dust my rolling pin, some may not, but I do. And we're gonna roll this out. Oops. Oh lad, what are doing there? What are doing wrong again, lad? You miss a little bit of Oh my cameraman to shush! <laughs> oh god! You lot, yeah, blame it, blame it on the app. No, I'm only joking. So let's just do it a bit gentler. A bit more gentle. Put a bit more flour on there. So, don't have at this stage it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be like perfectly round because we're gonna put our filling in there now this is the ghee and the butter unsalted butter so we're gonna spread that around This is going to make our roti so soft. So we're going to spread that around there like so. And we're going to get the back of the knife. And make a cut. And then we're going to do like so. And we're going to do it in the cone shape. We're just going to come around with it like so. This is going to be tucked in there, so you want to tuck this in like that. Cone shape. And then we're going to push this down like so. Like that. And there we have it. So we're just going to do that with the rest of them. Right guys, one thing I did forget to tell you, yeah, is when you put this on, you've got to put the dry flour on the top. Sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't remember, but I did, because the video was kind of, we did speed it up, so sorry about that. But, so, paste that. And sprinkle some dry flour. I'm actually loving this. I feel like I'm a natural, like I've made this before. All of all your trinis don't cost me because I think I try in there. Now my brother's high on the rivers. That's my medium man. So just ignore him. Yeah. <laughs> so and then you put that in there. And I can never get the word right what they say. Lloyd Lloyd's loyal something so anyway. We cover that back with a damp paper towel. And leave that for another, we leave it for about half an hour. The longer you leave it, the softer it will become. Okay, see you on the flip side. We're drinking with this. Jeez. Strong stuff guys, strong stuff. <laughs> so we had a little break. So this has been sitting for half an hour now. And 
the longer you leave it the better but I've got some people to feed and they're hungry so worst day to film it when I've got hungry bellies of all like six seven eight nine people no no I would take a share but stuff is here <laughs> so anyway this is our Lois 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 don't correct me whatever so we're gonna put some flour here okay this dough look at that oh my god put some more dry flour because it can stick Okay guys, so I rolled it out right, but my roti is so soft here yeah, that it was it was kind of breaking up. But anyway, this is how it looks. And then we're gonna use the double up and we're just gonna keep turning it 20 seconds on each side. I ain't worried about the holy 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 because it's gonna get muss up. That's the whole idea of the bus up shot. Yeah, remember this is my first attempt, so don't scrutinize me too much I'll be nice to me now like, my first attempt I don't think I did too bad for the first attempt to be honest with you because this dough oh my god it's so soft yeah so I don't think I did too bad for the first attempt and according to her got to bring it together buff it up so I'm using the dabbler to boss it up. There we go. So ah, it's so soft. Oh my god. This is what I got so far guys. So I'm gonna speed up the video because I've got four more to do. So I'm gonna speed it up. So the cameraman is gonna video me, but it's gonna be right. Okay, so we're gonna get to it, and I'll show you the finished outcome. Here you have it, I tried my best, right? Don't worry, that's a baby in the background. You know, we family out here, so we, you know, these world, my kids, everybody's in the background. So this is my bus up shot. It's so soft. Shall I do the taste? Yes, sir. Good. Amazing. Oh my God, it's so soft. <laughs> I can't wait. Look at this guys, this is what I prepared. Curry chicken, it's got um, potatoes, china in it. That's what we're having for dinner today. With the bus up shot. I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm just kidding! Listen! Oi! For a first try, I ain't done too bad. It's soft and not look at that. Ooh. All right, guys. So, thanks for watching these world again. Today was cooking with D, cooking with spice, as you see, spice infusions. Today was cooking with spice. Um, as I said, it's my first cooking video. My first attempt at doing bus up shots. Not my first attempt at cooking, first cooking video. Yeah? First attempt at cooking bus up shots though. Curry chicken and that. I do that. I got this all the time. But 
let me know what you guys would like to see me do again if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe to see more we've got a lot of things coming my kids are gonna be well my nephew sorry what am i talking about my niece sorry and my son we got a video on how they wash their hands to prevent you from catching germs of the coronavirus they are so cute you guys gotta tune in so please like comment subscribe share to your friends and family let them know that these world is doing things yeah see you later